The second season of The Umbrella Academy is almost here. The show, which follows a dysfunctional family of superheroes trying to prevent the apocalypse, had an explosive finale which left us with plenty of burning questions, as did the recent trailer for season two. What the hell did we do now? While we await the arrival of the next season, here are seven big questions we hope season two will answer. Beware spoilers for the first season of The Umbrella Academy, and any speculations made here relate only to the show and not the comic. Let's get into it. At the end of season one, the Hargreaves children travel through a time vortex to escape the apocalypse. The recent trailer shows the family have been scattered in and around Dallas throughout the early 1960s, and some have assimilated into new lives. Allison appears to be in a courtroom or police station, Diego is in some kind of psychiatric hospital, and Klaus has become a cult leader. It's not clear exactly how long they've been living in the past, but it's long enough for both Klaus and Diego to develop some serious hippie hair. The first season revealed that Sir Reginald Hargreaves, a mysterious billionaire and adopted father of the Seven Umbrella Academy children, knew the apocalypse was coming. In response, he takes his own life, knowing his funeral will summon his children together and kickstart a chain of events that will see them fight to save the world. In the recent trailer, a slightly younger Hargreaves is seen being introduced to his children, suggesting the team somehow find their father in the past. Could this be how Reginald knew the date of the impending apocalypse? Another scene shows a man who resembles Hargreaves taking the hand of a small chimpanzee. Possibly the first time he meets his beloved primate caretaker, Pogo. Hazel, one half of the assassin duo seen in season one, escaped the apocalypse to wind up safely in the past. Question is, was his partner Cha-Cha so lucky? In the season finale, we see her try to make a mysterious phone call, shortly before she's wiped out by the explosion. Though it's unlikely she survived the blast, a deadly hit woman like Cha-Cha always has tricks up her sleeve. And even if she is dead, it's still probable that actor Mary J. Blige may make a reappearance in either a flashback or even as a ghost to haunt poor Klaus. In the trailer, we see three new white-haired antagonists, one of whom is posing as a milkman? They receive a telegram from the Commission, so they could be temporal assassins similar to Hazel and Cha-Cha. We also see them pursue Diego and his unnamed companion through a hospital and greet Allison disguised as vacuum salesman. They're not here to sell vacuums. Whoever they are, they mean business. The recent trailer shows Alison Hargreaves in a romantic embrace with an unnamed character behind bars. This mysterious man appears a handful of times in the trailer. Who is he, and how does he fit into the chain of events that will impact the end of the world? And will there be jealous tension between him and Alison's former love interest, Luther? We still don't have the answer to one of the series' biggest questions. What happened to Ben Hargreaves? All we know is the elusive number six suffered a tragic fate during a mission, and only appears in the show as a ghost who communicates with Klaus. As we're going back in time to series two, can the team influence the future and prevent Ben's death? We also know Klaus is able to physically manifest Ben using his powers from beyond the grave. Hopefully, we'll see more of their ghostly tag team in season two. Klaus, is Ben here? No, unfortunately, ghosts can't time travel. Are you kidding me? One puzzling scene from the season two trailer showed a suited figure with a goldfish bowl for a head. Comic fans may recognize this character as Carmichael, a talking around a goldfish who inhabits a robot body. This is the first time he's appeared in the show, and as the events of the TV series often differ from the comics, who knows what carnage awaits now that he appears to be in charge of the Temps Commission. There's not long left to speculate, as season two of The Umbrella Academy will release on Netflix on the 31st of July. For more on the series and the comics, stick with IGN.